Estimate the area of the piece of land shown below. Units are in meters. So we have a piece of land and it is separated by a width of 4 between each piece. We have a height of 5, a height of 4, a height of 5, a height of 7, a height of 4, a height of 9 and a height of 6. So we're going to use our trapezoidal rule from our formula book which says that area equals h over 2 times y1 plus yn plus 2 times y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus dot 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 plus yn minus 1. Now this is a tricky enough formula but if we think about it in words as to what it means so it relates to this diagram that we have here. So the h over 2 is really the width. So in this case we have a width of 4. So it's going to be 4 over 2. The y1 is always the first height. So in this case it's 5. So y1 is 5. The yn is always the last height. And the last height in this case is 6. And then 2 times y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus dot 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 plus yn minus 1 is basically all the other in-between heights. So anything that's in between the first and the last one. So it's going to be 2 multiplied by 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 4 plus 9. So 2 multiplied by 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 4 plus 9. So again, the h is equal to 4, so that's what each of the widths was. The first height is 5, so that y1 becomes 5. The last height is 6, so that yn becomes 6. And then it's 2 times all the in-between values, so 4, 5, 7, 4, 9. 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 4 plus 9. 4 over 2 gives us 2, 5 plus 6 gives us 11, 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 4 plus 9 gives us 29, so 2 times 29, 2 times 29 plus 11 is 69, and 2 times 69 is 138, and make sure that you label it as metres squared, because the units are in metres. So the approximate area of this piece of land is 138 metres squared. Estimate the area of the shape shown below. Units are in metres. So this is our shape. Now the only difference with this question to the last question is that we don't have a first height and we don't have a last height. So we have to be careful with this question because we're going to let our first height be 0 and our last height be 0. We do not let 2 be the first height and 1 be the last height. That is incorrect. So we're going to have 0 for the first height and 0 for the last height. And the width, which is labelled as h, is going to be 3. So h is 3. So this is our formula. So we're going to have h over 2 becomes 3 over 2 y1, which represents the first height, is 0, so 0 metres. yn, which represents the last height, is going to be 0 as well, so 0. Then we have 2 multiplied by, and it's going to be all the other values added together. So 2 multiplied by 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 10 plus 7 plus 1. So 2 multiplied by 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 10 plus 7 plus 1. So 0 plus 0 is just 0. 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 10 plus 7 plus 1 is 27. And 2 times 27 is 54. And 3 over 2 multiplied by 54 is 81 metres squared. So the approximate area of this shape is 81 metres squared. The area of the following shape was estimated to be 800 centimetres squared. 
and this was done using the trapezoidal rule. Find the width of each segment. So we're trying to find what the distance is between each of the pieces, each of the segments. So we're basically trying to find h. What is h equal to? So h is unknown to us at the moment, but we do know that the first height is 10 centimeters and that the last height is zero centimeters and that the area is 800 centimeters squared that was given to us in the question. So what we're going to do is substitute into our formula anything that we know, let it equal to 800 and then solve for h. So our formula is area equals h over 2, h being the width, plus y1 which is the first height plus yn which is the last height plus two times all the other values added together. So h over 2 stays as it is because we do not know what h is. y1 representing the first height is 10. yn representing the last height is 0. Then we have plus 2 multiplied by all the other values added together. So it's going to be 20 plus 30 plus 15 plus 10. So 2 times 20 plus 30 plus 15 plus 10. And then this is equal to 800 because we know that the area is 800. So now we simplify as much as we can. 20 plus 30 plus 15 plus 10 is 75. 10 plus 0 is just 10. 2 multiplied by 75 is 150 plus 10 is 160. So we have h over 2 multiplied by 160 is equal to 800. So h over 2 is the same thing as a half h and a half multiplied by 160 or a half of 160 is going to be 80. So we get 80 h equals 800. So then h is going to be 800 divided by 80. So h is going to be 10. So the width of each of the segments is 10 centimetres.